to my weekly live. My name is Julie Gilson and I'm with stampinggala.com. And today is May 3rd and I'm showing you brand new products from the new annual catalog. I love how the projects turned out. I'm using the um, beautiful balloon set and the um, coordinating paper. You can find it on page, let me see, pages 14 and 15 of the annual catalog. So these are the, the products that I'm using today. Let me show you the, the bundle. It looks like this. So lots of fun stuff in here. So I hope you like the projects as much as I do. Um, I'm using um, some, re some returning products or returning colors. We have Berry Burst and this is Lemon Lime Twist and um, Misty Moonlight, a touch of Misty Moonlight. So those were some of my favorites, so I'm glad that they're back. Now this card is a fun fold card and it's a double fold card. So let me show you what I mean. It just opens up like that and then there's another fold too, okay? So anyway, it's real simple to do. And this one I'm not gonna open up right away, but as you can see in here, this is going to be a gift card holder. It just pulls out, and I'll show you that in a little bit. And then finally, this is a cute little um, 3D item. And this, I was inspired by one of my downline. Um, her name is Trisha. And she, um, I went to her team meeting, and she had um, some of these made in DSP for all the people in attendance. So I thought it was really cute, and I thought I'd just... Um, um, case it and show you guys it today. Although she used different products as well. Um, so these are the things I'm going to show you today. But bef um, before I get started, I do want to point out that I am having a kit class and this is going to be on Thursday the 18th and it's going to be on Zoom and it involves the Forever Friends kit. Let me show you this. Um, first of all, this is what comes in the kit. You have enough for four cards, so you get eight envelopes. Um, the products in here are really, really nice. Let me show them to you. Um, you have card bases and different, this has like a little pin dot polka dot. And then there's also um, all these little card bases here. So that's that. It comes complete with um, a stamp set and some twine and a block as well as some um, things for a shaker card and I'm talking about the like the dimensional type things the adhesives and some um, tags so the kit is $21 but I want to show you what I did with it and what I'm going to be doing online and if you'd like to participate, I'll show you what you need to do. So these are the cards I created out of it. Okay. And here's the second card. And then I created a box as well. And the box is created out of, created out of one of the card bases. And this holds a box or a tin of the um, Altoids. I also stamped the envelope here so you can see how pretty it goes together. So another thing I added was the ribbon and this is how it comes, two rolls of ribbon. In fact, I'm using some of this tonight. So anyone who wants to participate in the Zoom class, um, all they have to do is place an order. Here's my flyer on it and I did have to change the host code, but all you have to do is order the kit and the ribbon combo pack using this host code and um, you will be invited to the class and then it's um, if you would like the make and takes their ten dollars to go with it okay so let me know if you're interested I do want to point out also that I have a few of my last um, create a la carte's available um, we um, we have four cards as you can see here, and my um, bag got kind of beat up, but this cute little bag, and this is how I have them packaged. So they're all labeled and numbered for you. 
It also comes with 12, sheet, 12 by 12 sheets of designer series paper, and it comes with the roller ribbon and the pearls. So anyway, that is available if you're interested. I have a few of those kits left. I think I only have five left. I also have two of these kits available, and I have one of the rainy day ones available. So if you're interested in those, they're $42. And um, it includes shipping. So um, each kit is $42. I also still have some of the cruise kits available if you're interested in those. So um, I'd really like to move them out of my craft room. So if you're interested, I'd love for that to send them to you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with this one first. Now, ladies, if you're new to my channel, please let me know so that we can give you a warm welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for um, spending Wednesdays with me. All right, um, let me grab my stuff here. This one does have a few pieces, so um, bear with me when as we go along here. Oh, and let me show you the designer series paper that I'm using. I cut, um, die cut most of the the um, balloons and such out of these pieces. And this is so cute. This is the bright and beautiful, I think it's called, designer series paper. Okay, um, so let's get started. Um, the base of the card is four and a half by eight, in a, no, four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And it's scored at um, two and three quarters. Okay. I already have the PDF done, so I will be able to put it up shortly. Okay. And then um, we're just going to stick the inside in real quick. This one um, is, let me see, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then I also have one that's embossed, and this is five by three and three quarters. So we're going to put these two together. And this is going to go on the inside of the card. So, ladies, if you like this, um, please make sure that you um, give me a thumbs up. And also, if you click on the little bell next to it, you'll always be notified when I go live. And as always, I love it when you share. And that helps me tremendously in my business. Okay. All right, we're going to just trim this a tiny, tiny bit. That looks good. You can hardly see it right here. <laughs> All right, we're going to put this on the inside. So it was fun creating these today because... Um, the new catalog started, as you know. And so um, it was fun to work with new products for a change. So ladies, if you don't have a demonstrator that you're working with and you would like a catalog, and um, I'd be happy to send you one, as long as you're not working with another demonstrator. Okay, so then for this front flap right here we're going to put these two pieces together I just love these prints um, these designs on the DSP because it's so um, it's just so fun and festive okay Lisa I can get that to you that is the Fragrant, fragrant flowers. I can't even say it. Okay. And again, I'm going to trim this up a tiny bit. So, ladies, it's funny. My um, retreat and my cruise are almost sold out. So, if you're at all interested, um, it's crazy that here I thought uh, the cruise would 
take a while because first of all, I didn't think it would sell out for sure because it's only in February and I chose it late. So, but it's going like hotcakes and so is my retreat. So that's going to, and I'm already getting stuff in for that. Okay, so we're going to put this together. Um, Nancy, so far, there's already, um, I think I only have six spots left for crafters. It's, um, they don't have as much space this year or the next cruise, I should say. Okay, so this piece that I cut off here, I just trimmed it a little bit more. And so anyway, I'm going to put this together. I'm happy too, Vicki. Did they tell you that the space was filling up when you called in? It's funny, but I already booked the 2025 cruise as well. And that one will go out of Orlando or the um, Cape Canaveral, I should say. Um, I don't um, know if I could get the people up in Frankenmuth. I probably could, but um, I'd have to check it out and see. Okay, so this is going to go on the top, but we're not going to actually put it on yet. I do want to show you that I die cut these right out of the um, DSP, okay? So what I'm going to do, I took two pieces of Baker's Twine. Um, for this cruise, we're going to Aruba. Um, Aruba and Carousel and the Bahamas, I believe. Okay, where are my scissors? Okay, I'm going to show you how I put this together. So what I did was I just took some glue dots and I placed one there. Oops. You know, I got one on my finger. Okay, so I have them placed on here, so I'm just going to stick the, the string right there for now, okay? Then I'm going to take this one and do the same thing. These things sure are sticky, especially when you get them on your nails or your fingers. Okay, I'm putting one right at the base, and then one right here, okay? All right, so I'm going to take this string and put this up here, okay? All right, so I have that. Then dimensionals. One here and here. Okay. All right. So let's grab this and um you know <laughs> I think it's February 16th and it's going to be on um the wonder of the seas. So it's the newest ship all right, so we have that down, and then we're going to put this one on. Okay. 
And this one I'm going to go off the page on top a little bit. Just like that. Okay. And before I do anything else, I'm going to take these two pieces and tie it in a knot. And I want to make certain that it, where the knot lands, it is on the, the piece here. And that's perfect. Okay, just like that. And I'll just trim it off. Okay, so now I'm going to take a glue dot and put it right under the knot so it stays put. So... Okay, just like that. All right, and then this tiny little thing, we're going to wait until I stamp the celebration. Okay, so we'll come back to this. Now we're going to bring this in. And this time, we're going to... Oh, shoot. Hey, Deb. about right there. Okay, thanks. Okay, so we are going to take one of these pieces and I need my foam board. And like I said, I'm using new or the returning colors. I'm using Misty Moonlight. Um for the 2025, I think it is St. Martin and and all of those St. Martin, St. Thomas, that area. Okay, I'm going to turn this over and then stamp this right here. Okay. So let me clean this off. And then I got to use the lemon lime twist. So I don't want to ink put the Misty Moonlight ink in there. Okay, so let me move this out of the way and get this one in. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's February 16th that we're going. Okay, so now I'm going to put that in there. So we have the two different colors. Move this out of the way. Okay, so we're going to put this on the inside of the card. Okay. I know, I needed something bright and cheerful today, for sure. Okay, so we have that. All right, and then I'm going to put glue on the back side here. So I do want to mention that I said I would have my scrapbook club ready to go on Sunday. However, I didn't have the products I needed. So um, they're coming in um, two days from now. I expressed them. So they should be here shortly. So I will have them ready this weekend instead. I'm just curious. Would you like to see a scrapbook pages in this set or the Zany Zoo one first? Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to come back to the front. And this is going to go over top here, just like that. That's why I wanted to put this on first so I would see where I needed to put this one. Oops. So we're going to put some glue on the top portion of this, but you don't want to do it all over because then you'll stick it all the way down.
Okay, so you just want to make sure that you have the same amount of border all the way around on the lemon lime twist. Okay, all right, so we have that. Okay, and then we're going to stamp. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be this set then. All right, so this is gonna say, um, let me see. I think it's time for a celebration. I almost said celebration. Okay, so we're gonna put this down here and I am gonna to have to trim this. Perfect. And we've had crazy weather here too, Lisa. It's been cold and yucky and rainy and damp. Okay, and then I'm going to trim this off the top. So see, that's perfect. All right, now what I'm going to do is put two dimensionals on here. I'm not going to put them on the ends because then it'll come off the side and I don't want that. So we're going to put them in about three quarters of an inch or half an inch on each side. Okay, so this is going to go right about here. Okay. And then we have this one little um, balloon left. I'm going to put one dimensional on it and just slide it under here like it's, I can't see the, the bottom. But so far, so good. So that's the outside of your card. And then I have one more thing to do. So we're going to stamp happy birthday down in the corner. And then I have this cute little squiggly line, or then it's the, I guess this is the um, string or the balloon. And then I die cut another balloon here. So we're going to put that on there. Okay. And I do want it going off the top a little bit. Okay. Okay, so this one is going to go right here. All right, so here is your finished card. I think it's time for a celebration. Happy birthday. And then you can write a note inside there. Okay, so this is your first project. Oh, I forgot the bow. Hold on one second. The, sh um, the ship for 2025 is Wonder of the Seas. How can I forget the bow that makes it? So ladies, if you want these make and takes, just place a minimum order of $40 by um, Saturday using this host code, and I'll be happy to send you these make and takes. Okay, so I need another glue dot. And you know what? I forgot something else. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, so we have this. 
<laughs> I can't believe I forgot these. And I just grabbed these out of my stash because they were the right color. But you can use um, pearls and um, color them with a, a stamp and blend marker. So I'm going to take this. I can't even believe I forgot these. I put one there. And I'm doing two different colors. Like these are um, like ombre. There. Now this is your finished card. <laughs> How did I forget this? Somebody would have told me. Okay, so there you go. There's your, there's your first project. All right. All right, so we're going to move on to the second one. And this is the second card. So let me show you what it looks like first. All right. And then if you undo this, you can open this up. And then here is place for a gift card. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and stamp these. Okay, so let me bring this in. So I do have a couple of different pieces here to talk to you about. First of all, this is the base of the card, and it's just one little um, rectangle, and this is five and a half by four and a quarter. This one, these are, let me see what the first one is five by three and three quarters and this is four and seven eighths by um three and five eighths and i embossed this one so we're gonna put these together So I have a fun weekend planned. The, um, my team, some of my team is coming from all over to my house because they want to get their business online. So I'm going to show them different aspects of doing a business online. So we're going to have a fun filled weekend, but it's going to be work too. So they're all bringing their computers and I have it. We'll have everything hooked up to my big screen TV for some training. So I have three people coming from Pennsylvania and um, down by Cincinnati. So it's going to be a fun weekend. Yes, she is. Um, she's on my team. She's been on my team for, um, gosh, maybe three or four years. In fact, you can probably tell because we have very much of the same style. Okay, so we're going to put this together here. All right, then we have a piece of cardstock that's um, four and a quarter by 11, just a half a sheet of cardstock. And I scored it at three, six, and nine. Okay, so we're going to put this on like this. So I'm going to fold this. And before I put it together, I'm going to grab my, um, I can find it. Here it is, my tear and tape. So we're going to put this on here. Just rip it with your nail. Okay. Just like that. Jane is awesome. It doesn't matter what advice I, she asks me. If she asks me for advice and how to do something, and um, I tell her and she puts it in play. I love that about her. Okay, so we folded that up. Then this will be folded this way. And then finally, this will be folded up. Okay, so it looks like this. And this one is where the um, gift card will go. So before we put this together, what I'm going to do is take these two pieces and they're going to be adhered together and placed right there. 
Okay. Well, that's perfect, Cliffy. You can definitely use this. This is easy and it's cute. Hey, Wendy. Wendy is one of my downline that's driving here from Pennsylvania um, over the weekend. Okay, so then I just die cut a small tag, and this is from the something fancy tags. I use the smallest one here. And I'm also going to be using the stylish shapes, just so you know. Okay, and we're going to stamp happy birthday. Hey, Kathy, long time no see. Perfect. All right, and I'm just going to put this on flat because um, you want to be able to close it. So I just centered it in there just like that. Okay, and then on this top panel, I'm going to put two pieces in here of basic white. I do need to trim this a tiny bit. That's good. Okay, and this is going to go on right here at the top. Hey, Tina. Tina, you and George are welcome, too. Okay, so it's going to go like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put, this is going to go on with dimensionals. Hey, Trisha. I'm casing one of your, um, your um, projects. Um, stuff I used for this one right here, it's called splatter. Okay. All right. So this is going to go on and I'm going to center this. So I think that looks pretty good. Let me pick it up and see. Nope. I want to just move it up a tiny bit. It's so hard to do this online. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to feed this through. I should have done it before, but it's pretty easy to get in there. All right, so I'm just going to leave this here for now. All right, and then I have some balloons. Now, if I wanted to, I could stamp a couple of... Um, of these little lines here, but I don't know how they'll look. So I'm going to try it. If I mess up, just give me some grace here. 
that's fine. You can't really tell where the balloons will be anyway. This will work. Okay, so now I'm going to take the, the um, this one here first. I'm going to put some dimensionals on it. The ribbon I'm going to, um, what about the ribbon, Ruth? So this will go right here. Then the next one. Most definitely, Lisa. Okay, so this one is going to go under here. Now just know that you won't be able to tell where these things are, so it's good. I'm going to lift this up and move it over just a little bit. Okay, then we're going to have a flat one. And this one is, I'm just going to put this one on with glue. Here. And then another flat one. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take a piece of this one. I'm going to do some trimming again. I don't like that one. That's better. Trim this up some. I'm getting ink on my cards here. All right, so this is going to go on right here. So I think that does look good with the, the things under there. So what I'm going to do is put a dimensional here and a dimensional here. So I know that they're in the right places. Okay. So I'm going to tie the ribbon around it to hold it closed. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often, but it does. Okay, and then I'm going to take these and... I'll put one right here, no, right here. And this time I'm going to put one here. And I 
Okay, oh, I'm gonna move this over, so. Okay, so here is your second card. I hope you like this one. Okay, and then finally, this is the last project I'm going to make. And this is the one that was uh, uh, my friend, Trisha, who is on my team, inspired me. This is She made these cute little um, treat holders for all of her downline. And so I'm going to show you how it's made. Okay, she did hers in DSP, and I'm just doing mine in cardstock because you need a sheet that's bigger, and this DSP only comes in six by six. So, so what I did here is I have a piece of cardstock that's six and three quarters by 11, and on the six and three quarter side, I scored it at three and a quarter, five and a quarter, eight and a half, and ten and a half and I turned it and scored it at one and a quarter and four and three quarters so let me show you how you do this Okay, so now we're gonna cut this off, this little rectangle down here, and then tab that and cut this one off right here and tab it as well. Okay. This large, the two inch side, this is gonna be the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim this up. And I like to cut on both sides of the score line. Okay, so you can see so far it looks like that. All right, so it's going to come together like this. So this is going to be the flap that comes over. So everything else is going to come off. So see what I mean? This whole thing is going to come off. So we're going to start here and go across and try and be as straight as possible. Okay. Piece there. Okay. Then I'm going to round the corners here. Okay. All right. So it's going to come together like this. Okay. All right. But we're going to have to pinch this. So I'm going to grab my, um, let me turn this. I'm just grabbing my score, and what I'm going to do is take, this is two inches wide right here, the sides, so I'm just going to put a score line down at one inch, and I'm just going to come down like a, um, two inches there, 
Then I have to do it again here. So I'll just move this over and do it at one inch. Okay, that'll make it easier to um, put it together. Okay. So first of all, we're gonna put the glue right here. Trish, I don't have any goodies in it. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're going to fold the sides in and the back. The back, you know, is this part. So we're going to fold that one down and then we'll put the glue on the last one. You always want the one that is going to be the front going towards the back. So you don't have the seam right here. See, because this is going to be the front. All right. So those where I um, scored it on the sides and it's easy to go ahead and fold it over like that. Okay. All right. So like I said, this only comes in six by six and I want to make sure that we, um, uh, it goes all the way around. So I had to cut two strips and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here and glue it together around an inch. Just like that. Okay. And all I'm doing is squeezing this together. And then I'll put this on here. And I'll just squeeze it and walk it around. Just like that. And you can't even tell where the line is because of how this paper is. So then I'm going to put some more glue here. And just hold it for a second. No, I don't get motion sickness. Okay, so, so far so good. Now I may, I'm going to take this piece right here. And put some glue on here and just slide it in here so it gets the rest of this so that's perfect okay so so far so good all right so now I'm gonna take I have a piece of um, what this is a white um, from the stylish shapes the stitch circle so I'm gonna stamp two um, of these little balloon strings. So this one will go here. And another one I'm going to go up. So it'll be like right there. Okay. All right. We're going to adhere it to a um, circle that is, um, let me see how big this one is two and a quarter. So this is Misty Moonlight. So we'll glue these together. Yes, it's Berry Burst. Berry Burst Misty Moonlight Lemon Lime Twist. Okay. And then I have the Lemon Lime Twist one, and that's going to go on here, but we're going to go ahead and put dimensionals on the back of this. As always, ladies, I'm always looking to build my team. So if you're interested in um, joining Stampin' Up! and receiving a discount on your crafting supplies, let me know. I'd love to have you on my team. Okay, so next we're going to do this. We're going to put a dimensional behind this one. Oops. This is the, you know, the smaller one, and I have this, um, the large circles die cut on here. 
Now you could stamp them all if you didn't have the paper, but I just think this paper is so cute. Okay, so we're going to put that there. And then we're going to do the plain, um, this is like a lemon lime twist. It almost looks like it's watercolored. So this is going to go right here. I also have a stripe. I like to mix stripes and um, circles. So I'm having this go off the back right there. And then we're going to stamp Happy Birthday. Now I am using a different stamp set for the Happy Birthday on this, the Go-To Greetings. And the reason being is it, it just didn't look like a good size for what I was using the other Happy Birthday that comes in, in this set. So sometimes I have to stamp it twice to make sure I get it straight. And I messed that one up. I got a, some ink there. Okay, that's good. Close this. All right, so we're going to trim this off on an angle on both sides. So this is going to go right here. And I did put this on dimensionals as well. I love this designer series paper and all the um, stuff that goes with it. It's so cute. Oops. Okay, I gotta make sure I have this on straight so that the balloons are flying up. Okay, so that looks good. And then I have this little balloon. I'm gonna put some glue on here and just slide it right under here. Oh, you know what? I gotta cut it because the dimensional is in the way. You never know. Okay, so this is going to go on here. Just like this. <coughs> Use some ribbon. No, um, it's not, hers wasn't bigger. It was just the DSP she used. Um, this takes larger than the, the six by six that comes in this pack. Okay, so this is going to go right here. Oops, that's smaller. Okay, and then we're going to put a couple of embellishments on. Lost the backing. Mm. 
all right so here is your finished um 3d project okay i hope you like this and trisha had just little um cute little candy bars in it and also a little um eraser so anyway here are your projects for today remember if you if you want these projects mailed to you all you have to do is place an order by saturday using this host code and i'll be sure to get this out to you <coughs> i have something stuck in my throat and i can't get it out anyway thank you so much for watching today i hope you um enjoyed the projects as much as i did and um, I really appreciate you stopping by and um, giving me the privilege of earning your business. Thank you so much and have a great night. Bye-bye.